Welcome to another episode of Racing to Learn. We are a nonprofit that uses radio control to get kids excited about math and science. And today we're working on our team associated SE10 again, getting it ready for the track, our local track NorCal Hobbies here. Um, and uh, we're gonna we're gonna finish just taking care of the servo on this truck. So first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna remove the servo saver from this uh, the servo that didn't fit, right? I'm just gonna pop this off the top here and put this one over to the side and hopefully we have the same amount of teeth on these the servo probably something we should have tested um, so it was centered actually another thing you want to do before mounting a servo is you want to make sure that the servo is centered and the trim on your radio is set appropriately. So let's go ahead and plug in a battery here. Plug in the servo. All right, the servo isn't keyed, so tip is if, if it isn't keyed, you don't know which way to plug it in. Make sure that the shiny parts on the connector, right, the pins, um, let me get a closer view here, right? Those are facing up, so or you can match the colors of the wires there. You know, white should be under white if you have another connector already plugged in or whatnot. So let's go ahead and turn this on. Turn on our radio. And actually, I'm gonna wanna switch this over to a new model. Let me do this here. This is our, so I'm gonna create a new entry. I'm going to use FS8 here and just going to change the name of this to, well, I do uh, S, I'm going to change this to SC1. <laughs> Okay, and I'm just gonna make sure everything is uh, the trims are all set to neutral here. So I'm gonna make this so L is left, N is zero, right? R is one, so I want to make sure that it's centered. All right, so that servo is centered now, and. Gonna go ahead and turn this off. And now I can put on that servo horn so that it's facing straight up. So we're going to uh, want to make it look like this here. All right. So I'm just going to line it up so that it's perfectly vertical and this is a metal geared servo so you'll want or I'll want to put some thread lock at the end of the screw just want to make sure that this uh, looks like I might have to find another screw here the thread on the screws is not appropriate. I don't, so if you, if you take a look here, let me just show you. All right, that is a coarse threaded screw. And it seems like just, just the feel of it, that the screw isn't going in very smoothly when I turn it. So I don't want to cross thread um, this servo. So let's go ahead and see. I might have to go back over to the garage here or I can take off. Uh, let's go ahead and grab this screw off of this other servo. So it's always nice having extra 
that one looks like it's a coarse threaded too. So let's check this old Traxxas servo. Hopefully this will be a fine threaded screw and all right we're in business here so this is a fine threaded screw and you don't want to cross thread those i don't know if you guys can see that black the threads on this but it, they're definitely a lot smaller threads than on uh, on that other screw that we had previously so hopefully this Doesn't seem like this is the same thread. It's too big. So I'm gonna dig around here for an appropriately sized screw. Again, uh, important things to note when you're building or you know putting together a car um, or a truck here. Uh, thanks again for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe, and we'll catch you next time.